morning, everyone, and welcome. We are so excited to have you here today. And without further ado, I want to bring up our mayor of Tukwila, Alan Eckbert, for re-election. He's got a new announcement for us. Yeah. Thank you, Bettina. Thank you very much, Blake. But most importantly, thank you all for being here. It's very touching to have your presence with me here today for this announcement of my campaign for re-election for mayor of the city of Tukwila. <laughs> on, on behalf of that thought, I'd like to share a few words with you. First off, we're here today under beautiful skies. We're not even dodging raindrops, fortunately, which is great. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, today, this Saturday, we're doing an announcement for my re-election for mayor of the city of Tukwila. As you know, I've had the pleasure of being your mayor for three years and going into my fourth year. We've seen a lot of changes during that time frame. I'd like to emphasize my running for re-election. Let that be no doubt at all. Based on support and encouragement from friends like you, my neighbors, businesses, the churches, Tukwila residents and folks who know me personally, it is indeed an honor to be standing here before you announcing this running for re-election for the mayor of the city of Tukwila. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. As a lifelong resident of the city of Tukwila and a Foster High School graduate, hey. you yeah, go Bulldogs! Finally said something worth hearing. I'm, <laughs> I'm known as a mayor that's made some things happen in our city, including installing traffic calming devices around our schools, including stop signs, signal lights, crosswalks, speed indicators, speed cushions or speed humps, and law enforcement on motorcycles in order to slow down traffic in our residential neighborhoods. More of that needs to be forthcoming. I've been an individual that listened to the public and they said they wanted a voice into the city I created that voice through an application called Tukwila Works, which you can use on your phone. <laughs> that, gives you, that gives you and us direct access to city departments to report issues. And those issues could be anything such as non-functioning non lights, potholes, street hazards, things of that nature like garbage or graffiti. And the city will respond to that and act upon that in a very, very timely manner. Most importantly, one of the things I want to do is endorse our youth in our city. And when I was campaigning three and a half years ago for mayor, I realized that there was a lot of residents who live in our city that don't have the means for internet access to make their life special and benefit from the use of the internet. Specifically our kids that were given Chromebooks for our schools that couldn't do their homework at home. So I have installed free Wi-Fi access between International Boulevard and Military Road for most of our low income apartment complexes. As mayor, I'm very proud of supporting our local schools. As such, I implemented an internship program with each department within the city of Tukwila, where we have one or two youth from our local high schools employed by the city of Tukwila, earning money over the summer and learning something about a business aspect. And every business aspect that resides in the city of Tukwila resides in corporate America as well. So that is cross transferable knowledge. So I'm very proud of that, very proud of that. So among those accomplishments, there's many, many more. I have uh, over a hundred things I could tell you about, but I won't do that today. What I'd like to share with you is that it's not over yet. We're right now embarking on a public safety campaign and a plan to put in new fire stations, a police facility and a courts facility to improve the life of everyone in the city of Tukwila. In addition to that, as you look around where we're at today, the vision of Tukwila from the 90s to improve this area and lift it up from the where, wherewithal that it was has taken place. We have behind us the Sullivan Center, across from Shag, a brand new King County Library. That was done through the auspices of the city of Tukwila, which I've been proud to be the mayor for the last three years. I also like to say that moving forward, 
I plan on continuing listening to residents and responding to residents because that's what I'm about. I'm about helping youth and helping residents in our city. I have no future plans to go beyond the mayor of the city of Tukwila. I am here for you all as a resident himself. And to continue the movement around our youth, I am co-sponsoring a publication that will go into our Tukwila School District that outlines all the apprenticeship type programs and jobs available for youth, starting with what it takes to get into the apprenticeship program, what the starting wage is and what the wage could be. And there are some really great paying labor related jobs that our students don't know about and I want them to know about that. So that's going to unfold within the next couple of months in the Tukwila School District. So I'm a hands-on mayor. I consider myself a doer. I want to push forward. I want to get rid of red tape. I want to listen to everyone around me, consent that information and move out on that. Things that I've done and I spoke about have proven that initiative. So there's a track record that you know about and that's why I think you're here today supporting me and I want to thank you for your support over and over again. It means so much to me as an individual. Mayor Eckberg stands before you. I look forward to your support and my re-election for mayor in this year of 2019 so that we can move this city forward together shoulder to shoulder side by side and bring the love that we share for our city to everyone in the city and i thank you very much for being here today